While I was interviewing for my first job switch, I faced multiple rejections in coding as well as system design rounds, despite having enough command over coding and system design. When I analyzed myself, I found three lesser known but major reasons for rejections. Let's see them in next two minutes only. Number one, keeping thoughts to yourself. Thinking out loud can help during interviews. Please say what you are thinking. It helps interviewers to know your thought process and they will even guide you if you are on the wrong track. For the interviewer, it is important to know your thought process while solving a problem rather than just seeing the final solution as they are interested in knowing your problem solving approach. So avoid thinking quietly and directly sharing the end solution. In case you don't reach the end solution, you are left with nothing to show. At least sharing your thought process can do some magic. Number two, unable to calculate time and space complexity. Keep a habit of calculating time and space complexity after solving every coding question while practicing. It is commonly asked in coding rounds. You can get stuck in these complexities if you don't practice them. If you need to learn time and space complexity, then refer to this video by Freecode Camp. It is simple to understand. I will share the link in the description. Number 3. Rush to jump onto the solution. Don't rush to solve the problem, especially during technical interviews. Interviewers ask incomplete questions. They leave some points intentionally vague. They want you to think. For system design questions, it is mandatory to ask as many questions as you can, as they always ask open-ended questions like design Twitter. Ask about features to implement, scalability, number of users, and so on. If you directly jump to a solution without asking what exactly is needed, the interviewers may say they were looking for something else after you come up with a solution in 15 to 20 minutes. This is a waste of time and will directly affect your interview results. For system design, you can refer to course System Design for Beginners by Freecode Camp. It is taught by Gaurav Sen, a good course to start with. In summary, thinking out loud, calculating time and space complexity, and avoiding the rush to solve problems will increase your chances of successfully passing the interview rounds. These reasons are based on his experiences. You may have additional insights from your own experience. So please comment below. I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such amazing content.